Today we're going to do a behind the scenes view with Coral View. What's going on guys? Devin from Reef Dudes. Now today we're going to check out behind the scenes at Coral View. Pretty excited today. How are you doing hey, today, David? How are you doing? Thanks Excellent. for coming in. Excellent, thank you. So right we walk in the entrance, we got this beautiful display tank here. So how long has this one been up and running? Uh, it's been up about four years now, maybe a little less. Excellent, it is filled in and looking awesome. So what all do you got running on this system? So uh, this system's uh, about 400 gallons and uh, you know, lighting wise, I've, I'm running some uh, uh, Radeon XR30s with some Giesemann Stellars. Nice. That's kind of the uh, retro drop the, the LED module yeah. in. Well, it's working well. The tank has nice, gorgeous shimmer. All your corals are looking nice, bright and vibrant. Everything's huge colonies. You even got some growing out of the water up here. So the tank's obviously happy and thriving. Yeah, it's doing pretty well. So equipment wise, if you want to look underneath, uh, we're running a lot of our stuff. Uh, that's the uh, ice cap sump, the reef octopus. Uh, that's the uh, with the Varios 8, the Regal 300, uh, algae scrubber, clear filters. Got the new wave engine I see hiding back there. Yeah, so you can yep. see uh, we're running uh, two uh, Gyre 280s, two Octopulse 4s. We're running the Abyss 200 from it as well and also the skimmer pump and you can see how they all mates ties in so it's all running off the, the one pump running off of, uh, the four pumps on the direct drives are running off yep. one power supply and okay. the abyss and the skimmer pump is running off zero to ten okay nice oh, we see that got the fx4 Joser. Yep. Got the Elkatronic testing your elk for you. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So do you have it dosing the tweak on top of your doser? Is that how you have it set up or is it just testing? So this is the, the you're talking about the Alcatronic. Yep. So the Alcatronic's monitoring uh, alkalinity. Mm -hmm. And if it calls uh, for alkalinity to be, to come up below the, the low set point, yep. which I have at 7.3, then it will dose from the sodium bicarbonate solution. Okay. If it, the alkalinity consumption is too much, then I can see that and raise it from the dosing pump. Okay, perfect. That's kind of how mine's set up right now. Because with <laughs> the FX4 Pro, I can change it remotely. So right. if I see it, I'll tweak it. Yep. If I see the electronic pop up, like, oh, add a couple more mils yep. to the doser. Exactly. Now you do, this is the main warehouse right now, correct? Correct. Yeah. Well, we're in the process of building a new facility, so mm -hmm. please bear with us. It's pretty <laughs> messy and uh, yeah. pretty crowded here. Excellent. Well, I want to give a little bit of a tour and yeah, check it out. come on back. <clears throat> so right now we do a lot of shipping and receiving yep. from this room. Uh, the inside orders, uh, shipping labels, smaller yep. orders before we go into the warehouse and then palletize yeah. orders. Now we get into the real mess. <laughs> <laughs> all the magic happens. Yeah. Tons and tons of stuff back here. So all the goodies hide. Right. So this is a pretty big warehouse. So this is already too small and you guys are going bigger. This is a uh, 12,000 square yep. feet about in the warehouse. But, um, and then another 6,000 in office inside. Yep. And we also have another building across the street with more warehousing? More warehouse. <laughs> Tons. Tons. You gotta have it to sell it. This it's is true. Thing. This is very, very true. Yeah, tons of stuff back here. So do you do you have a big tank at home too, or do you got no, enough of the office? Here. Yeah. <laughs> There's another warehouse space back here. Oh wow, it keeps going. Nice. So with Coral View, you mainly do distribution to stores, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. we're just a, a wholesaler. And we sell a good bit of stores nice online retailers now are, are a lot of the brands are they coral view brands a lot of coral yep. view brands uh ice cab reef octopus mm -hmm. um now uh, clear um hydros yep. nice. i'm probably missing some but lots lots yeah. and lots we distribute for aquaforest 
um, Abyss, Geesman. I know I'm missing some, but. <laughs> yeah, I know on the site there's a bazillion brands on there, so yeah. it's definitely a good chunk. No, oh, awesome. Now, you guys also do a lot of shows. I always, yeah. see, I always see Coral View at the big shows. Yeah, we try and yeah. uh, get our name out there and participate in the shows and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, meet some of our customers and shake hands, yeah. that kind of thing. Oh, that's awesome. It's always a good way to get sneak peeks of the new products right. coming out too. Yep. So aside from the new warehouse move, anything else new and exciting coming out? With Coral yeah, View? a lot of new stuff. You know, the big thing we've been developing is the Hydros brand. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, that's that's what we've been really focused on uh probably almost two years now and this yep. year will be uh you'll see a lot of new products from that rolling out nice. such as our hydros controller yep is that coming out pretty soon we're in beta testing now mm -hmm. and then we'll be uh we we hope in at least by this summer that yep. it'll be for sale and on the market nice excellent Yep. So wave engines are going strong. Wave engines are going strong, and uh, there'll be even more from the hydros line. Yep, excellent. Anything you can share yet? Some of the new stuff coming out? Yeah, I may. Uh, well, probably not yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a little too soon. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. this is our water testing uh, meter here. We can put any kind of pump. This is a really accurate uh, flow sensor, so we can really dial in what kind of flow rates we're getting from this nice. meter. So any new pump, any new product you can put on there and figure yeah. out exactly what yeah, it does. So if somebody says a uh, pump's not uh, meeting their flow needs uh, according to yeah. what they think, we put it on here and give it the, give it the test. Oh, that's very cool. <clears throat> that is a nice big slew of controllers too. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of different controllers, we can mm -hmm. just grab that, put a pump on it, turn it on, Nice. connected with these fittings they're all ready to roll makes it nice and easy for testing yeah now do you bake any products here or just more just repair or no you that's so a lot something? of the assembled stuff the electronics mm -hmm. will get in we do burning these like these new dual pump controllers yep boards will come in then nice. from here we go into assembly We'll use these burners to program. Yep. One here is another assembly area. Very cool. Keeps on going and going. Keep finding new rooms everywhere. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so a lot of assembly work going on here as well. Yeah. No, very cool. Yeah. Where the wave engines are made. Wave engines yeah. are made. One of the controllers coming out. Now. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming soon. It's coming soon. Yeah. Excellent. So, all right. So this is a beefy LED. Now we saw a year or two ago, we saw kind of the sneak peek of the Philips one that was more used in Europe is 220 volt. Yeah. Now this one is a much thinner version I'm seeing, and this looks like it's North America version. Yeah. This, so uh, this is the, the newest uh, gen two Coral Care from Philips. And this will be released to the market in the first quarter this year. Oh, so it's coming out pretty soon. Yeah. Yep. So what's kind of the, the specs or the main features of so this? So this is uh, 190 watts of LED. What's unique about this Philips light is the way they disperse the light using this uh, patented proprietary optical yeah. Yeah, so lens. Like, so I find it interesting, you got two lens or four lenses that are more or less passed through and the rest look like they have multiple layers of yeah. lens or diffusion on it yeah so the way they the engineers that design the light is that in nature when you look at this the look at sun um it, it comes down in in layers yep. not so mm -hmm. much directly straight down into the water mm -hmm. so the way they describe the the light is that it'll come down almost in angles as it hits the water and that's what they're trying to mimic uh, the sun and more mim mimic with this light oh very cool now the original one i know was like a huge fixture I mean, yeah so this one the, the this is much two, thinner which is nice it's about two inches at the highest point yep. and keep in mind there's no uh external power supply so everything so everything in? is just plug it right in oh nice so you give up a little bit maybe in size, but yep. you don't have these uh, 
bricks to deal with either. Exactly. So th this is the control box for it? So this is the control box for it and uh, they allow four lights. It, it'll have a, an additional wire mm -hmm. that's on the light itself. And that cable has two pins on the end and then you just mm -hmm. open this box up, insert them into the little holders yep. and then take control of the light. No, now would it have like zero to 10 control or would it be its own app or how it it's all has that? its own app okay and then as soon as you put it in it it pretty much recognizes it and comes up on your uh on your app huh. id oh very cool yeah lots of exciting new stuff on the yeah. market eh? so we'll look for that this year so i see you guys at almost all the shows i go to yeah so you guys are always a sponsor and stuff so what do you have next coming up for future events that you're going to be at yeah so we got a local show aquafest yep. and we're nice. really you know happy to be sponsoring it we're right here yep. in new orleans That's... and uh we'd like to have people come in experience mm -hmm. the city it's going to be a two-day event yep so give you some time to come to the show maybe mm -hmm. check out the city and uh, we'd like people to experience, yeah. you know, the show as well as the city and, and, mm -hmm. and take in everything there is to see and do here. Awesome. Well, I'm coming to this one, so I'm excited. It'll be yeah. great to see you there. Right. Um, also, so if a family's coming in, do you want to make a whole, like, vacation trip out of it? Go to Aquafest, go to the show. What, what else would you recommend people do to kind of make a family vacation? You know, it ha just so happens the same weekend is mm -hmm. going to be the, uh, the French Quarter Fest. Okay. So what is so, this? French Quarter okay. Fest is, it's a free festival. Mm -hmm. It takes over the entire French Quarter. There's yep. all kinds of bands set up on the river. Uh, you get to experience New Orleans food. Nice. Um, it's just a really nice uh, family oriented event where you mm -hmm. walk around, check nice. out the French Quarter and all Perfect. the sights and sounds. Awesome, and this is around the same time as the show? Same weekend, so good, good excuse come on to down. Sell and, the wife and the yeah, kids and bring them in? Perfect. Awesome, be yeah. great. Well, I look forward to seeing you there. I'll see you then. Thanks again for Thank the trip.